Alright guys, welcome to my first tutorial. Today I will show you how to use glare in cycles and how you can use the compositing tab to export it and then in Photoshop make it look more realistic without doing the stuff itself with like the brush tool. So first let's quickly import a model. So I'm going to get one from one of my recent pieces. Alright, now I've got my uh, model in. I can just center it over here. And if you guys don't know, you can just put it to like that. And then we can go to the camera view. And then we just move it up a bit so we get a better angle. Also, just press this little double circle icon which will remove the overlays. And you can go to move. So you click this and then you can go into another view. So I think I might actually tilt, uh, rotate the camera a bit so we get a different angle. So you can see the skin's face. And like that looks much better. So if you guys do want the, these lightning bolts, I'll have a link in the description for you. And the skin you can find online somewhere. Or you can put it from new model. Okay, once you're happy with the composition, let's have a look at a rendered view. For this, I'm going to be using cycles because I'm showing you how to use glare in cycles. So as you can see, guys, there's no like glare coming out from here. It's not glowing at all. And if you want it to glow, we're going to have to do that in compositing tab. So first, let's have a stick quick render. So if as you go back to solid view and then hit F12 or go to render, render image. Also, guys, stick around to the end because I have a uh, little tip that I can show you. Also, please use code UC4242 in the Fortnite item shop. Alright guys, once it's done rendering, all you got to do is close out of that. You want to head over to the compositing tab and click use nodes. And over here you want to click on your render layer. Hit control, shift and click. Once that happens, you'll see your render behind it. You can go here. If it's, if it's not there, it's N on the keyboard or you can do this arrow. And then you'll see the view panel. Click fit and now will uh, fit perfectly. You can move this to the side. You want to leave composite up at the top over here and drag viewer down then hit shift a on your keyboard and type in glare and you can just drop it straight into this and you can see there's kind of glare but it looks quite weird because on streaks you want to do it into fog low okay and then for medium i would recommend high and size I'll put that on nine and you can see it's glowing here but you you see that it doesn't glow outside it's because it's transparent what we want to do is you change takeoff alpha once alpha is off, it should give you a black background. Okay, what you want to do is save this first. So go back to your rendering, scroll down to viewer node, go image, save as. Okay, so for this one, you can just save it as type glare black background. All right, and then what you want to do, head back onto the back over to the compositing tab and turn on alpha. It should take a while, and then there we go. Now we want to save. It's very. It's ready on viewing nodes. So we just need to save that again. Save as. We we'll just save as render glare. All right. Once you got both of these, we don't need to use. Um, we can close out of Blender. It doesn't matter which one you're dragging first, but I'm dragging glare. And then do the same thing for the other one. You want to make sure that the one with the transparent background is on top. That's a very important step. Then what you want to do is paste in your background. So here's my background. You can't really see it because of the because uh, of this um, black layer background thing. And then you, this is the most important step. You want to change the blend mode from normal all the way to screen. And what that's going to do is going to remove the black part. So now you see that the glare is showing through. So without doing the compositing tab, this is all you would have. And because you went and did an extra step and put in compositing, we now we have glare. So obviously I'm just going to resize this background. Alright guys, now I just cropped it a bit, you can see that the glare is showing through. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Alright guys, I said I was going to show you something at the end. So here we have this lightning bolt. It's in the link in the description below if you want to use this. And if you want to change the colour, so like maybe you duplicate it, okay? And you have two. But if you see, if I go to object and I change the emission colour, let's say to red. You see how they both change. If you just want one to change and one to say different, so maybe you want red and blue. What you need to do is hit tab on your keyboard, which goes into edit mode. Or to, to zoom in like I just did, hit the button below escape and three, which just zooms into anything that you select. All right, you want to hit this um, button here, which shows through the object. Then you can just select all these vertices. Okay, right, once all selected, you want to go over to your shader editor, go to slot, hover over slot you want to hit a new so you make a new slot and then click assign so this so what it basically did is it assigned all these vertices to this new material so you want to add new delete the principle 
Shift A to search for something and type for emission. Let's connect the emission to surface. And now we, can, we have a different one. So we can change the color to blue. And now we have two different ones. And also the strength, I normally put around 45 is what I use. So I think it's a decent amount of strength. It depends how big your project is, but I think the strength is fine. So could you guys please comment down below what tutorial you want me to make next? So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in another tutorial.